So I am back from the store. And we're going to do a quick grocery haul so I can put everything up. This is my Costco. And from Costco, I have the Brussels sprouts. I got a chopped kale salad, which I'll be eating tonight. And I had some salmon on sale, so I got the salmon. And I also got these spinach egg white frutatas for breakfast and avocados and this um, extra virgin olive oil garlic flavor we come to like. I also got the midi peppers and I got grapes Blueberries, strawberries, and that's it from Costco. And then the spinach I got from Sam's. I also got the milk, my almond milk, my avocado oil, Southwest salad, some more shrimp. And green bell peppers. Also, oh, this is from Costco. This is for Duke. It's chicken jerky. And I got mics and pineapples. Black beans. from Sam's. I got the black thing from Costco. And white bacon. Sam's. And on this counter is my Walmart stuff. I just got some scotch white sponges to wash dishes with. And I got some more food prep bowls for these are just five of them. They have three compartments. But these things so so much bigger. And I got my granite cleaner, bathroom cleaner, more garbage bags, marker band, Clorox wipes. And then I got some gluten free flour, gluten free chocolate seasoning, corn meal, corn, gluten free cream chicken, Roma tomatoes. And bell mushrooms. Oh, I also got some more detergent from Walmart. And this is for Easter. That is pretty much all for my haul. Talk to you guys later. Bye. So here I'm just adding my Kinder seafood seasoning and my salt free salmon seasoning. I'm brushing it onto my salmon with a little butter and lemon juice mixture. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the Hall of Shame I wish I knew
So it doesn't take long for the salmon to cook light. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and flip the salmon over and do the same thing we did to this side to the other side. So I'm gonna see if I can flip it over. This is our last flip. First, I'm going to pour this over it. Two drops of lemon juice. Then a little pizza seasoning. So we're gonna go ahead, it's all done. Doesn't it look delicious? Ah! I'm gonna try to move two at a time, but I hope they don't break. Good, 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 good. Well, this one is gonna break. Fix it. Fix it. Fixed it. And she is from a TV closer look. Mm. And it is still smoking. Hot. So, give me just a moment. And we're going to go ahead and mix up. Mm. The curls out. I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator. So of course the kale salad comes with everything that's in the bag. So we're just gonna switch over and do the kale salad. Here we go. So the, this is the bag. This is um Pumpkin seeds and cranberries. Ooh, I wasted some on the floor. And this is the sauce that you put in it. And we pretty much just toss it around. It's this poppy seed dressing that comes in the packet with it. It comes with two. So we're going to go ahead and empty both of them in. We're just gonna go ahead and mix it up. Let's do, let's just do this. And if you want extra poppy seed dressing, you can actually just buy the poppy, you can buy a poppy seed dressing, but I don't really care for more dressing on it. I kinda like it like this. 
and it's the kale salad mix from Costco. This is how much that's in it. It's a bigger bag than at Sam's. The one at Sam's is a smaller bag, but it's the same thing. It's just in a smaller bag, but we love it here. So next I'm going to go ahead and make my husband some chicken. I'm going to sit this in the refrigerator so it can be chilling and cooling before we start to eat. And I'm going to divide some of it up into some meal prep bowls. So I'll have it for later. Might even take some with me tomorrow. Go ahead and sit this in the refrigerator. Beautiful, beautiful salad. And also beautiful salmon. So with our chicken, this is for my husband. We're gonna do almost the same, but we're gonna use our butcher's all-purpose seasoning. I'm gonna use the tequila lime seasoning. And I'm also gonna use a little bit of a deal. You can see it's kind of bright. The deal. So I'm gonna season both sides. And instead of putting a butter coating over the chicken, I'm gonna cook it in the garlic flavored extra virgin olive oil and butter. So this is pretty salty, so I don't wanna put too much of this. This is for my husband. I also probably add maybe some parsley to this. I don't know. I'm gonna get the chicken. And guess what? We're gonna do the same thing to this side, but I'm gonna add the garlic powder first. And then the lime juice. Garlic powder is kind of low. All right. 
Okay, here we go. I'll probably flip it one more time, but right now, I'm going to let it cook. I'm going to flip them one more time. They're looking so good. So good. This is my favorite one. Almost done. Actually, what I'm going to do is actually turn the stove off and let them finish cooking as the stove goes off like I did my salmon. Chicken's all done. Tonight is simple Saturday. So we are both having a meat and veggies. And if he wants rice, I do have brown rice in the refrigerator. I also have cilantro lime rice in the refrigerator. And we're going to take a closer look at both. That's a chicken. Oh my god, it looks so good. And the salmon. So I'll plate it up, and that's what you'll see next with mine. I don't know about his, but I'll record that next. <laughs>